Welcome to Electronic Geek. In this video, we shall be seeing about 2-bit magnitude comparator. We will see the truth table and we will derive the output equation for all the three cases and then we will simulate the circuit on Tinkercad and we will verify our results. So, let's get started. So, magnitude comparator is a combinational circuit which compares to n-bit numbers. Okay, by combinational circuit, I mean that the output of the circuit will strictly depend upon the present inputs. In this case, we are designing a 2-bit comparator. That means there will be two numbers, each of two bits, and uh, the comparison will be done. The output of the comparator will be expressed as whether the number is less than the other one or it's greater than the other one or both the numbers are equal. So, uh, coming to the truth table, A1 and A0 represent the first number. I'm calling it as A and b1 and b0 represent the second number i'm calling it as b and here are the three cases first is a is less than b other is a is equal to b and third is a is greater than b as we are having a two bit comparator so each number will be of uh, two bits so the highest decimal value uh, which can be represented in two bits is three i am clubbing a1 and a0 as a uh, same goes with b1 and b0 i'm clubbing it and calling it as b I'll be discussing the truth table in decimal. Okay. So when A is 0 and B is 0, we know that both are same. So A equal to B should be high. When A is 0 and B is 1, we can say that A is less than B. So A less than B is high. Uh, same goes with this. A is 0, B is 2. So uh, A is again less than B. Uh, A is 0, B is 3. So again A less than B. Now proceeding ahead. Uh, a is 1, B is 0. So we can comment A is greater than B. And over here, A is 1, B is also 1. So both are equal. Over here, A is 1, B is 2. So A less than B. Over here, A is 1 and B is 3. So again, A is less than B. Over here, A is 2 and B is 0. So A greater than B. Now, same goes for here we can see that uh, a is 2 b is 1 so a is greater than b over here a is also 2 b is also 2 so both are equal and uh, here we can see a is 2 b is 3 so a less than b over here we can see a is 3 b is 0 so a greater than b over here a is 3 b is 1 so again a greater than b over here a is 3 and b is 2 so a greater than b and over here we can see both the numbers are 3 3 so a is equal to b uh, now proceeding to the k map simplification for the first case that is a less than b so here you can see that uh, this is a 16 cell k map you know, having uh, two bits a1 and a0 over here and uh, b1 and b0 over here so the all the 16 cell have been filled according to the column of a less than b you can check it out in the truth table above. So, coming to the output equation. So, the first thing that uh, you can do is you can club these four ones. These four. So, the output equation that uh, you will be getting is, uh, see here. A1 is the uh, same for both uh, rows, but it's 0. So, it will be A1 bar. And if you see over here, B1 is same, whereas B0 is changing from 1 to 0. So, you will neglect B0 and you will consider B1. So the output should be a1 bar b1 and you can see this is the first term. So we have got our first term and now uh, coming to this, this one can be clubbed with this one. And the output equation will be, uh, you can see that a1 and a0 both are same for both these two but both are 0. So it will be a1 bar a0 bar and uh, between b1 and b0 you can see that b1 changes but uh, b0 is same. So the equation will be a1 bar a0 bar b0 and uh, you can see here this uh, coming to this last one you can again club this one and the above one so uh, seeing that b1 and b0 both are same and both are one uh, but between a1 and a0 a0 is same and a1 is changing so we'll neglect a1 and we'll consider a0 as it is 0 we'll take its complement so it is a0 bar b1 b0 this one this term so thus this is the output for a less than b now coming to the next case a equal to b now this is a bit tricky one uh, because uh, over here in the 16 cell k map 
all the one are individual and none of them can be paired with the other one so start by writing the equation for each of this cell so for the first one you can see it will be a1 bar a0 bar b1 bar b0 bar you know, for this both of these are same but both are, uh, both are zero so it will be like that coming to this one uh, it will be a1 bar a0 b1 bar b0 coming to this one it will be a1 a0 b1 b0 and coming to the last one it will be a1 a0 bar b1 b0 bar now uh, we will simplify this uh, equation from this we will take a1 bar b1 bar as common this a1 bar and this b1 bar we will take it common so inside what we are left with is a0 bar b0 bar plus a0 b0 from this entire one we have took a1 bar b1 bar as common so this is what remains inside same will happen over here we will take a1 b1 common and inside we are having a0 b0 plus a0 bar b0 bar common now if you see this term is again same so you take the common okay so it will be a0 bar b0 bar plus a0 b0 and once you take this uh, common what inside you will be left with is a1 bar b1 bar plus a1 b1 okay and this is equal to a1 x nor b1 and a0 x nor b0 this so this is the output equation for uh, the case of uh, equality both numbers are same a equal to b now coming to the last case that is a greater than b okay so over here you can see this that you can easily uh, club these four ones and the output equation if you uh, write it will be a1 is same so it will be a1 and b1 bar so this term now you can see this one is alone so you can easily club this one and this one so it will be uh, a1 a0 and uh, b0 bar so it is a1 a0 and b0 bar now coming to this last one you can also uh, club this last one with this one like this so the equation will be b1 bar b0 bar a0 b1 bar b0 bar a0 so thus these are the three output equations for all the three cases now we will proceed for the tinkercad simulation so here is the circuit for a two bit comparator and as you can see it's a quite complicated circuit and i will keep this uh, circuit open for all the link for the same will be given in the description okay so you can access it anytime and uh, try simulating it on your end okay so i'll explain this circuit the way i have uh, built over here and uh, later on we'll see the simulation part okay so i have taken these three leds this led will represent a less than b this will represent a equal to b and this will represent a greater than b and uh, i have used all these uh, logic gate ic's 74hc04 is for the uh, not gate inverter and 74HC11 is a triple input and gate. Uh, 74HC32 is an OR gate. 74HC86 is an XOR gate. This is again a NOT, not gate. This is the two input and, and gate. And over here we are having 7411 which is three input and gate and uh, 7432 which is a two input OR gate. So the first thing that you should always uh, take care of if, while uh, using these ICs is these ICs have two pins one is the ground pin and other is the power pin so uh, all these uh, respective pins should be connected to the uh, ground terminal and plus vcc terminal so as you can see all these ICs the ground pin has been connected to ground here, over here and uh, this power pin has been connected to plus 5 vcc the power supply has been uh, used and uh, the plus 5 volt is given to this uh, row and uh, ground is given to this row similarly this has been extended uh, such that the lower row this this row uh, gets plus 5 vcc and uh, this row is connected to ground so similarly i have uh, powered up these two ic's in the same manner i took plus 5 vcc connection from here and gave it over here and uh, ground connection from here to here the same procedure which was done above has been repeated over here.
Now, in practice, when you are using an IC, the uh, correct way to identify a uh, pin number one is by seeing this white color dot. The pin which is closest to this white color dot uh, represents pin number one. Now, over here, if you see, then these four uh, represents uh, four SPFT switches. Uh, right now, all the switches are connected to plus five uh, volts and all are off. So, when I will uh, turn this switch on, uh, that particular pin shall be uh, receiving plus five volts. Now, uh, regarding the uh, nomenclature, uh, the four inputs A1, A0, B1, and B0 are represented from left to right. So, this uh, switch number one is representing A1. Okay. This pin, uh, this uh, this switch number two is uh, representing A0, and this is B1, and this is B0. So the connections were made as per the output uh, equations. Uh, you can verify the same. Okay. And uh, now it's time for simulation and we will verify our results. I'll simulate the circuit. So as you can see over here, all the switches are off, meaning uh, it represents 0, 0 and 0, 0. So both the numbers are equal. So A equal to B LED is on. Firstly, I will demonstrate this A less than B case and then we'll proceed to or the other one so for a less than b let's keep a and b uh, a0 and a1 both has 0 and will vary only b1 and b0 so uh, i'll be demonstrating in terms of uh, decimal number and not in binary okay so right now it's a uh, 0 and 0 so let's change this to 0 and 1 you can see b is greater than a so again this is now 2 again you can see a less than b is high and now this represents 3 so still a is less than high this led is on the rest two both are off now coming to the equal part uh, so let's uh, increase this also to three so as you can see a equal to b led is high and we'll close this and this see again this is high now the reverse thing see a equal to b is high and for this case we already saw that it's high now coming to the part when a is greater than b so now we will keep b1 and b0 both as both off and will vary only a1 and a0 so this is 1 and 0 so 1 is greater so a greater than b now this is 2 so a greater than b this is 3 so a greater than b led is on so thus we have successfully verified our results in this uh, simulation I'll leave the link in the description for accessing this uh, particular circuit that if you need, you can uh, access it and uh, you can uh, check it out and do it on your own. So this is it for this video. Thank you for being till here. Thank you so much. Please do like, share and do subscribe to my channel and do give me your feedback in the comment section. Thank you for being till here. Thank you so much.